Here at Inside Investigations, we receive hundreds of emails from consumers all over the country asking for advice. Greg in Philadelphia writes, Dale, I heard an advertisement from a company saying it can prevent thieves from stealing my home by putting a lock on my title. I've spent years building equity and I'd hate to lose it all if someone lays claim to it. Is this a service I need? Greg, the short answer is no, and here's why. This is a warning to homeowners. Playing on your fears is what feeds the coffers of companies that sell title lock insurance. They are less than straightforward by implying that you stand to lose your home. And the likelihood of that happening is so remote as to be laughable. Laughable because as Glenda tells Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. You don't need to be helped any longer. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas. You see, as a homeowner, it's a protection you already possess. When you closed, your lender most likely offered you owner's title insurance, which essentially protects you against claims against your property for as long as you own it. These people took the phrase um, title insurance and credit score lock and combined them into title lock. And it sounds like something that you really need. They, they are a title monitoring service and periodically they will take a look at your title, which by the way is public information online, and say, hey, somebody stole your house last month. Just thought you'd want to know. Send us another 15 bucks. The crime of title fraud is essentially when someone forges a signature to transfer ownership of a property into their name. Although these companies want you to believe it happens all the time, it's a crime that rarely ends in catastrophic losses. In our justice system, you would be quickly vindicated and quickly restored to ownership. And no, you would not have an obligation to pay any loans that were taken out during that time period because they were fraudulent as well. Take it from the wise words of Dorothy. I never really lost it to begin with. You don't have to worry about losing your title because it's already protected. If you have a question for me, go to our Inside Investigations website and send us an email. We may answer your question right here on the show. Finally today, a story about patience. For many young Americans, a cross-country road trip is a rite of passage. But when one recent college grad's plans took an unexpected detour, it took him six months to get his vehicle home safe. Spoiler alert, there is a happy ending here, but we can only tell you about it if we keep our driver's identity private. So from this point forward, we'll call him Bob. About six months ago, I was getting ready for a cross-country road trip. Before I started, I went to a local mechanic shop and got my car serviced and tires rotated, all of that. And then about a day and a half into my road trip, the car started having some problems. I took it to a well-known uh, repair shop and they determined that the car was completely broken. It needed a new engine. A new engine? Yes, a new engine. What do you think happened to the car? It could have been the maintenance shop that I went to or it could have been just an intrinsic problem with the car. Personally, I feel like it was the first of the two. I had driven the car for almost exactly a year at that point. I'd always done scheduled maintenance. I had always taken care of my car, and my car ran absolutely great uh, right up until two days after I got the maintenance done on it, and then everything you know, went south. The maintenance shop that I went to, however, they wouldn't respond. I would leave voicemails, I'd leave emails, I would never hear back. It was absolutely frustrating. It was just unreal, the, uh, the dodging that I was getting. After four months of this back and forth, Bob reached out to Inside Investigations, and our team turned up the heat on the car company. So Bob, how's your car? Uh, my car got back and it is running well. Uh, I did not pay a dime for it. I think it's, it's really nice to know that there's somebody that's, you know, on your side that you, uh, you know, trust Dale <laughs> to help you out.